Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Vera Mix, and today we're gonna continue with our lamp project. So, welcome to Chapter Three. Oh man, it's been a long, long journey. If you made it back from uh, Chapter One, Chapter Two, and now you are in Chapter Three, congratulations! You're doing amazing. And in this chapter, we're gonna finish the project, and this is what we're gonna end up with. This is the project composed over an image. Uh, already to maybe put it on your reel or make something more interesting and put it on your reel and maybe try to get a job or advance that new project that you've been trying to do. So this is I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we have here. This is the uh, basically the background. So you can see it's a little bit different. We do a lot of processing here for the project a little bit. We do a bit of a color correction and stuff. So we start with this, which is basically, let me show you, it's basically the, uh, the raw image of the render. And then we, uh, we export a few, um, a few maps, like uh, object passes, you can see here. We do some object passes, uh, we render the shadow separately. Uh, we did, what else did we render separately? I think that's the only one, the shadow. And I had another uh, object ID, but I didn't end up using that. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the composition, uh, we have this. We add a uh, color correction. We add uh, a little bit of flare light just to give a little bit more flavor there. Uh, some color correction with some LUTs. And uh, so this is what you're gonna end up with. And on the Houdini side, uh, this is the final scene that we're gonna be uh, going through. And you can see we have this is not that uh, it's, it's not that elaborate. Uh, it's, it's really simple because you guys could uh, with that technique you're gonna learn, you can pick it up from here and make it look ten times better than me for sure. So this is the, uh, we're just using a dome light and some uh, lights for the light bulb that's going to be inside. You can see we have some geometry there to uh, kind of catch, catch the shadows. On, uh, which is this guy. See, we have the geometry model there just to place the lamp in its correct place. And then we added, um, we added some hairs to the lamp so we can have a little bit of more detail there. Let's see, we can see it here in the render. There, you can see. Let me do it like this. Kill the resize. See, there's some uh, hairs in the rope so to make it a little bit more believable. And uh, this is the raw render. You can see the raw render already looks pretty cool. But then we integrate it into the scene. Okay. And then in the uh, in the rendering side, we're gonna render this with Redshift and we're gonna do some passes here. If you don't have Redshift, I'm gonna make, um, um, if you don't have Redshift, I'm gonna make another video just to do the rendering on Mantra. But it's gonna be a little bit different. But uh, all right, so we have here, uh, three AOVs, just uh, one with the shadows, one with the object IDs, and one with the puzzle math, uh, which is uh, just getting one, uh, which is this one. Let me show you which is, is, it, is this one. The background, background geometry is in the red channel, in the green channel is the lamp, and in the blue channel is the glass here because I wanted to add some color correction specifically to this. So, I did. I did use this channel to color correct some areas and stuff like that. So, all right. So that's all we're gonna do in this uh, chapter. It's gonna be really exciting. Uh, first, we're gonna get uh, our stuff from Painter into Houdini, or else, or our texture. And we're gonna create shaders. We're gonna we're going to create lights. We're gonna create the scene. We're gonna add the uh, little hairs for the robe. And then we're gonna set up the uh, AOVs and all that stuff and then make the final composition in Fusion. All right, guys, so let's start with this project.